Yeah, there's some in there. At least one that I can see anyway. Oh, there's a haul for you. And look at the size of some of those guys. Woohoo! G'day folks, welcome to another PTP Fishing and welcome to a very overcast and showery Somerset Dam. So I guess not quite Somerset Dam yet. Um, welcome to the preparation for this trip. Um, and this video is predominantly about going and chasing a few red claws. So the old opera house pot that's legal here in Queensland, um, trying to get some of these really big red claw crayfish that we have in Somerset Dam. So a little bit of a how-to. It's taken me two years to really figure out what these things are all about. So uh, I've tried all sorts of baits. I've tried all sorts of depths. I've tried all types of year. At the moment, the red claw are definitely running, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity to do this video. So um, I guess very quickly, this is all about preparation now. So once I'm on the water, I can just pop these pots in the water and then uh, go and have a bit of a fish, leave them in for a soak overnight. And um, hopefully I'll be able to show you a whole heap of red claw in the morning. So um, I'll take you through some of the basics. Um, and first things first is Opera House pots are the preferred method. Um, they are legal in Queensland. Um, the other legalities that you need to follow are it's four pots per person. The pots have to be labelled on the pot itself. And on the float. And it has to be one of these round floats. So um, milk bottles, all of those things, as much as they do what you need them to do, according to the regulations, they're not allowed to be used. So the preparation I'm doing at the moment is the bait I'm using is dry cat food. Um, I've tried everything. I've tried everything from oh, rock melon, fish frames, all the various par cooked potato, all sorts of things, all the various melons. Um, and surprisingly, dry cat food, uh, preferably one that has a little bit of a sort of a fishy base to it, has been the best. So basically I'll pop it in the middle of the pot, as you can see there, hopefully you can see that. And what I do from there is, unfortunately, unfortunately, I need to zippy tie the pots closed because for whatever reason, people seem to think that they're allowed to check your pots. So um, that's what I'm in the process of doing at the moment. So in summary, four pots per person. They need to be labelled not only the pot, but the float as well. And yeah, for whatever reason, bait doesn't seem to really make too much difference. My preference is uh, dry cat food. Um, let's leave it there. And the next thing you'll see is me popping these into the water. So um, catch you on the water. So the beauty of doing all of that preparation back at the accommodation is uh, once I'm on the water, all I need to do is pop these pots in the water. So um, pot number two going in. One thing I've realized very, very quickly is uh, the water is down significantly from when I was here last. So uh, the areas that I was dropping pots last time around and had a lot of success when I was here last time, um, they'd only be five or six foot of water now. So uh, not ideal, but all reports I've had are that the red claw is still well and truly on the move. So uh, I'm going to put one more pot in just over here and that'll be number three. And I'll pop one more in a little bit further down there. And that's our red claw, red claw pot set, ready to go. Okay, so that's pot number three going in. Okay, hopefully there's not too much water on the lens, so uh, lucky last pot number four. So, it's the morning after the night before, as you would have seen from yesterday, or depending on how much I show you, uh, red claw pots are in, fishing was poor. Not unexpected, water levels have dropped significantly, 
Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. The sun's just popping its head over the horizon there. So it's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm gonna give myself a couple of hours of fishing um, and then we'll go and pull those pots and then we'll head home. So let's see what today brings. So that's a couple of hours fishing done. Time to bring in these red claw pots and hopefully I've got a bit more success with the red claw pots than I've had with the fishing. That one does not feel very heavy at all. But there we go. There's most probably four, five red claw in there. There's a couple of the better ones of those, so they're really good eaters. Last time around we are actually getting a few a little bit bigger than that as well, but that's a couple of good ones and then there was three smaller ones. So first pot, reasonably successful. Rightio, so pot number two. See if pot number two has a few more in it than pot number one did. Depending on where I've tied these off, makes them feel really heavy. So um, this one's definitely got some in it. So there you go. So there's most probably another five or six in there again. No real huge ones, but a um, couple of nice ones again. There you go, another couple of really nice ones. So I underestimated how many were in actually in that pot. So there was, there was nine in there. So uh, again, a couple of nice eaters. Those are nice. Put them to sleep. Now I'll check the next one. Oh yeah, so we've got pot number three. Oh, come here. Hey, pot number three has got the same as the last one. Yeah, there's some in there. At least one that I can see anyway. Oh, there's a haul for you. And look at the size of some of those guys. Woohoo! Take this camera off my head and show you these guys. That's a nice haul of red claw. Your beauty! There's the contents of that pot. A few of them, those guys trying to escape. So as you can see, there's a few smaller ones, but then you've got guys like this one here. He's a feed and a half. Look at all of them up in there. That's a great haul of red claw. And my tactic of double bagging my uh, dry cat food has worked. So it's been a great idea. Anyway, I best catch some of these guys before they disappear all through my boat. Rightio, lucky last pot. So uh, that last pot had 27 red claw in it, so nice haul, couple of good ones as well. So uh, I don't need too many more to... Uh, this has got a few in it as well. So this shows you, I, I did an impatient check last night of this pot. It had nothing in it yesterday afternoon after being soaking for three or four hours. This morning, after an, an overnight soak, there's some cracking red claw in there. Anyway, I'll show you these guys as well, and then um, I'll say goodbye from another PTP fishing. So my pot is overflowing. Check those guys out. <laughs> That's another great haul of red claw. Check out the size of that guy. He's an absolute ripper. Ooh. Let's try and catch up with these guys. So that's what you want to see. That's my haul from uh, my four red claw pots. A couple of rippers in there. Anyway, I best close that up before they run away on me. So that's it for another PTP fishing. So if I was making a fishing video, it was a pretty poor effort. But uh, as I was trying to show you about catching these guys, um, I would call it a success.
So uh, red claw fishing, make sure you check the rules and regulations. You know, a lot of people come and do this. And I guess the myths for me were the baits. You know, everybody said, oh, you have to use uh, rock melon or you have to use some sort of fruit. Um, it's not the case. As you can see, dry cat food that has sort of a fish base to it works really, really well. Um, and the thing you see with these is look at those tail, look at that. You actually get a fair reward for effort for these guys. So um, hopefully uh, that gives you a bit of an idea about catching a few red claw. Um, they're definitely moving at Somerset Dam at the moment for how much longer that'll be because we're walking into our or coming into our cooler months, as you can see with the beanie and everything else and jumpers that I'm wearing. Anyway, tick for red claw, cross for fishing, can't catch them all the time. Anyway, that's it for another PTP fishing. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.